up Scorpios welcome to your love reading I hope you didn't think I forgot about you guys I apologize things have been crazy per usual that is my life I swear it should be a reality show but this is gonna be for Scorpio Sun Moon and Rising I'm gonna do something special for you guys at the end I haven't decided what yet but something special because um it's taken me a while to get your reading out. So this is going to be for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus as well, if it does resonate um, with your Venus sign. All right, so let's get started, guys. Keep in mind, these are general readings. They absolutely will not resonate with every single Scorpio out there. It's just not possible. The only way to get a reading to 100% resonate with you and your energy is to get a personal reading, and I do not yet offer those. They are coming soon. Coming soon. Um, ooh, okay. So, also, what I wanted to say, this card is distracting me, but also what I wanted to say is I cannot control what spirit gives me to read. Some of the cards that flip over, I do believe, are messages for people that need to hear it, so I do address them. Um, any intuitive messages or thoughts that come to my mind, I address them as well. Um, you do mirror each other in relationships or whoever you're dealing with regarding love. So it could be flip-flopped either way. It could go either way. So we have the Seven of Pentacles here. So... You may be waiting on someone, Scorpio, or someone's waiting on you, or you could be waiting on something, or someone's waiting on something here, or looking at the potential of something, okay? I definitely see a transformation regarding the past, for sure. Someone now wants to follow their dreams. Somebody wants to heal from what has ended in the past and follow their dreams, Plain and simple. I'm seeing Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, and Aquarius. Again, it doesn't matter. But it's like somebody's waiting for their dreams to come true. Their wishes and their, their hopes to come true. And it could be from a past relationship that has ended. Someone could be trying to return to you, Scorpio, or you could be trying to return to them. I do see another Scorpio, Leo... Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and Aquarius, but it could be any sign. I just like naming them for you guys because friends and family do pop up in love readings as well. So let's get to it. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising in Love from now until August 31st. Scorpios in Love from now until August 31st, Spirit. Scorpios in love from now until August 31st. One more. Alright, let's see what's going on, guys. Keep in mind these are general. They absolutely will not resonate with everyone. I believe they are messages that are needed for the people who need to hear it the most. If you're new to my channel, I do go on with the after tarot for future predictions regarding your love life. And then after we go in with the tarot of sexual magic to get even more information regarding your love life. And we pull some romance angel cards. So the overall energy, Scorpio, is the six of cups reversed. So someone's definitely focused on ma negative memories from the past here. Somebody doesn't want to be defensive anymore. Somebody doesn't want to have their guard up against someone or something from the past. Letting go of negative memories. Letting go of that grief, that regret, that remorse. Having the strength to do it here. There could be money owed to you as well. Or you owe someone money. Either way, however it goes. So let's see. Letting go of the past. Focusing on negative memories from the past is kind of the overall energy. So present energy right now for Scorpio is the Page of Cups reversed. So water energy here, Cancer Pisces Scorpio, again, does not have to be. But you guys very well could be turning down a love offer. Or somebody's turning you down here. Not sincere. Could be someone who's emotionally immature here. Someone you cannot trust. So let's see. Thoughts and concerns for Scorpio. 
Someone is afraid of change. Someone is still holding on to someone they put a lot of time into. And a lot of, a, there's a lot of emotion here as well. Somebody's definitely holding on to someone afraid of letting go here. Either you or whoever you're dealing with, Scorpio. So the basis of the reading for Scorpio, there's a victory here, okay? Somebody's getting the attention that they want. Somebody's getting some type of recognition. There is a victory, so we'll see what's going on. In the past for Scorpio, ooh, it's Seven of Cups, okay? So you or your partner or whoever you're dealing with may have felt some type of confusion. You know, which what, what do I do within love? Which way do I go? What path do I take? This even could be regarding money. You know, who do I choose for a partner in love? Do I want to be in a relationship or do I want to focus on money? You know, confusion here, being conflicted, not sure what path you want to take or not your partner not being sure what path. So there's definitely some confusion and illusions here and someone not being truthful. I see that right off the bat, but somebody that's not letting go of someone and their thoughts and concerns, someone that can't walk away or someone that is just holding on in their thoughts. So let's see what's crossing Scorpio, what's holding you back or what's influencing you negatively or positively is the judgment card. So this is definitely self-reflection you know, focusing and taking a look at where your life is at right now. Judgment card. This is also second chances. Wanting to give someone a second chance regarding love here. Making that judgment call. But it looks like this is either pushing you forward or holding you back. It's like somebody wants a second chance, whether that be you or whoever you're dealing with. So going into the near future, this may play out by August 31st. It may exceed August 31st, depending on your situation. Also, depending on free will, we have the Nine of Swords reversed. So somebody's going to be coming out of stress, anxiety, and worry about something. So we'll clarify everything. We'll figure out exactly what's going on. Other current circumstances for Scorpio is the Queen of Wands reverse. And I was shuffling, um, what is it, the Tarot of Dreams for you guys. I did record a video, but I sounded tired and all, you know, just drowsy and it wasn't, I didn't feel like it was the right reading. And we had this coming up. So there very well could be someone in your midst. If this is not you guys taking on this energy, someone that may be jealous of someone's attention, someone, <laughs> This is a person you you don't want to get on their bad side. So this could be your energy or it could be someone else. It very well could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sagittarius, someone jealous, somebody you cannot trust, somebody vindictive. We'll definitely clarify. So external to Scorpio. Ouch, guys. Five of Swords. So this could also be your energy because you mirror each other, but... Someone is all about conflict and drama, and it makes them happy. Like, it makes them happy to, like, be an asshole. Just pop off at the mouth and, and intentionally hurt someone here. And in the card, there are three people. So some of you could be in a third-party situation here. Not all, but we'll see. There's definitely some conflict and somebody's doing it intentionally to hurt someone. But it's like, it's defeat here. So someone could be feeling defeated, whether that's you or whoever you're dealing with. So hopes and fears for Scorpio is the Three of Wands. So you could be waiting, you know, dreaming and waiting on something. Focusing on your wishes, focusing on your dreams, your goals here. We, or even waiting on someone here or something. So outcome for Scorpio from now until August 31st is the moon reversed. So there will be no more illusions here. Either truth will come out, somebody will express how they feel. No more illusions. No more confusion. 
Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Again, does not have to be. And the next card would be the Five of Pentacles. So someone definitely may end up feeling abandoned from now until August 31st. Um, somebody definitely could be rejected in this situation. It could also be financially, but I do see love coming in. Holy shit, Scorpio. I definitely see love coming in. It very well could be from another water sign, Aries Leo Sag. It doesn't matter, but there is new growth here. There's new potential. There's a love offer coming in or you're offering something of, of love. There's a lot of passion here. A lot. Ooh, new beginnings, second chances with someone possibly. But still, somebody's weighing up their options and somebody needs to make a decision about whatever this is that is coming in. For some of you with the Ace of Wands, this could be a pregnancy. This could be a proposal even. And it's all about balancing finances. It could be something as simple as that. So let's see. Let's clarify this. So letting go of someone from the past. Letting go of the negative memories from the past. So let's see, why is the Seven of Cups here in the recent past? Ooh, my goodness, my cards go crazy. Jesus. Excuse my language. Alright, I feel like I need to shuffle a few times, guys. So Scorpios. Let's clarify the Seven of Cups. Alright, let's see. Why is the Seven of Cups here in the recent past for Scorpio's spirit from now until August 31st? Thank you. So, yeah. Someone was confused and conflicted. They didn't know if they wanted to put the work into something. They had their eyes on something else. They were confused, whether that be you or whoever you're dealing with. Someone was trying to pick the right path for them. I definitely see instability. I definitely see some type of drama in the past. It could have been regarding money. A Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Again, it doesn't have to be. But I definitely see some instability or a loss of money, trouble with family or a relationship. Something just not working out here. But with the world reverse, it's like... Things weren't coming to an end. Like someone couldn't make up their mind whether they're, whether or not they wanted to work on this relationship. Put the work in. So let's see. Why is the Page of Cups reversed? The present energy for Scorpio spirit from now until August 31st. Wow. Yeah, there's major confusion here. Someone is super confused about a love offer or offering their love or expressing their emotions. Someone could even be coming off as emotionally immature, not available. Yeah, somebody's definitely keeping to themselves here. Keeping things to themselves. Somebody's definitely unable to mentally move on from some type of marriage or relationship or home here. Definitely see someone that may be stalking and spying here, gathering information regarding somebody's marriage. Okay. Whew. So somebody's keeping some stuff to themselves here. All right. Why is the two of wands? Actually, let's keep going. Why is the six of wands here for Scorpios in love from now until August? Thank you. Wow. Okay, so I see two different things here. I see someone definitely getting a victory, definitely getting attention. But they're holding back. 
like it's a safe and it feels safe and secure for you Scorpio or whoever you're dealing with somebody definitely could be holding on to some type of victory or attention here and I don't like this because we do have a decision that needs to be made regarding a relationship but somebody's holding on to a victory here not letting go of someone but I definitely see someone needing to make up their mind somebody could very well could be juggling two different people here with the three of cups reverse and the tower may have come crashing down here. There could have been disaster, chaos regarding a relationship. Very well could have been a third party involved. Aries, Gemini, Scorpio. Tell me more. Tell me more about the Four of Pentacles for Scorpios from now until August 31st, Spirit. Yeah, King of Wands reversed. Someone's holding on to someone because they like the attention. Someone's being an arrogant freaking asshole and doesn't want to commit. There's no commitment here, but somebody's still getting a victory. I feel like somebody's getting attention elsewhere. Someone's come to reality. Somebody's feeling emotional upset and they're getting themselves out of a situation here just wanted to flip again for some of you there's definitely someone spying and stalking trying to gather information about somebody that's in a relationship or living with someone or somebody that's married okay be very careful guys gemini libra aquarius energy yeah it's like somebody is not making up their mind Someone's not going anywhere. It's not moving forward. Someone's not making up their mind about reconciling with someone or about a third party situation here. Could be someone very arrogant. It could be someone like charming, like sweet talks you or you sweet talk them. And someone's just holding on to someone that's not, not committing. Let's see, why is the Eight of Cups reversed in Scorpio's thoughts and concerns, Spirit? Too many. Okay, this little effer wants to come out again. Unbelievable. Yeah. I don't think somebody wants to cause drama here. I don't think somebody wants to cause drama and upset. But still, somebody's not moving forward. Somebody definitely could be trying to gather information before they move forward here. This could be regarding work as well or reconnecting with someone. Again, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All signs on the table. Let's see. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed for Scorpios from now until August 31st, Spirit? Okay, there's definitely, hmm. wow, for some of you, it definitely, you could be involved with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Sagittarius, Pisces. If it is not those signs, it's somebody who's definitely... Stable. You guys could be thinking about somebody who's very stable, grounded, but somebody doesn't want a commitment here. Someone's not committing. Somebody may want to try to fix the relationship. Somebody's waiting for something, I believe. See, with the High Priestess... This is definitely somebody using their intuition. It could be you guys using your intuition, trying to figure out something. Definitely holding on to emotional upset here. Grief, regret, remorse. 
I feel like somebody, for some of you, someone is unable to, like, move out of the home here. There's been some type of separation or divorce. But somebody wants to heal from it or they want to heal the relationship. Tell me about this temperance card for Scorpios from now until August 31st in love. Yeah, it's like somebody doesn't want to commit here. Yeah. This popped out, so this could definitely be a message for somebody. This definitely could be on your mind. Receiving bad news, receiving negative news that something is ending. There's a transformation here. For some of you, it could be a mother figure here. There definitely could be pregnancies for some of you. Finding out bad news and something ends. Something finally transforms. But I think somebody's afraid of change here. Somebody's still holding on and needs to heal from the situation. And there is Taurus, Aries energy here. Libra as well. Some people like to call the Empress. But... There's abundant, an abundant new beginning here. There's happiness. There's stability. There's definitely a victory with money here, I see. So let's see. Why is temperance here? It's like you guys are waiting. You're being patient. Yes. You guys want to manifest something. Whatever it is you want to manifest. The universe is working with you guys for sure. Like you guys want to manifest. You want to get yourselves out of the situation. You want to heal. You want balance. Or you want your partner to have balance here. But somebody's not committing. Yeah, there's an injustice here too. Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Capricorn, yeah. Someone's trying to get out of a toxic situation. Let's see, why is the Judgment card crossing Scorpios from now until August 31st in Love Spirit? Nine of Cups reversed. Somebody's not getting their wishes fulfilled here. Somebody's not emotionally happy. And they may want, you may want to give a second chance because you're not happy. You want to be with that person. Or you're not happy, but somebody wants a second chance. Either you want a second chance with somebody or it's just wishes not being fulfilled right now. Somebody's not, somebody could be waiting for someone to get out of a marriage. That's not going to resonate with everyone. There's definitely, like, instability or a loss of money, an ending to a relationship. It hasn't fully ended yet here. Let's see. This is really interesting, you guys. Why is the Nine of Swords reversed going into the near future for Scorpios? The Devil reversed. So, someone's going to stop worrying Someone's going to try to release a toxic relationship, release toxic habits, drug abuse, alcohol use, anything that's toxic, a third party, anything that you're feeling bound and tied to or that your partner is feeling bound and tied to. Somebody's going to be releasing that and coming out of anxiety and worry and fear and boom, there is balance here. You guys will be balanced and you may be ready to offer love or this could be someone wanting to offer love to you. Mm. Okay. So secrets are definitely going to come to light. 
I definitely see an ending. I see bad news, maybe about somebody lying, sneaking around, or cheating, and someone giving up. But I see you guys remaining balanced here, unless you're dealing with another Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Could be Capricorn as well. Somebody's going to be releasing whatever it is that may be toxic. All right, here we go. Five of Pentacles again. So somebody definitely may be left out in the cold. Abandon. There could be financial troubles as well. What was also coming to my mind, this is not going to resonate with everyone, but I feel like for someone, somebody's making money illegally, if that makes sense. That's not going to resonate with everyone. I know that. But I'm seeing someone coming to reality, letting go of negative memories from the past, and blocking communication with someone and leaving someone out in the cold, just abandoning someone here. This could be you guys or whoever you're dealing with. Let's see. Why is the Queen of Wands reversed for Scorpios? Justice reversed. Somebody could be really impatient, angry over a divorce or over an, an injustice, something that's not fair, something that's not right here. Yeah, somebody did some sneaky shit that came to light, whatever it may be. Somebody doesn't want to put the work in anymore. I'm definitely seeing Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Tell me about the Justice card reversed. For Scorpios from now until August 31st. Thank you. Yeah, the tower. Unbelievable. And the lovers. Wow. Someone's pissed off. I think someone does want a, a divorce or a separation. Something unjust has happened. Something unfair. This could be court cases as well. Maybe not going in someone's favor. Someone's upset. Things are imbalanced. And here's the tower, Scorpio. Here's you. Someone definitely needs to make a decision about a relationship. Choices. Or someone does make a decision to end a relationship. There's chaos. There's drama. Things come to light. I'm also seeing like an authority figure here as well. <sighs> or a father figure. And I am seeing pregnancies for some of you guys. Jeez. We'll get more information when we go in with the after tarot. So let's see. Why is the Five of Swords external to Scorpio from now until August 31st? Thank you. Yeah. Someone is single, okay? Or coming off as single and intentionally hurting someone, intentionally causing drama, feeling defeated, feeling single. But... It's like someone offered love or wanted to offer love or wanted to offer a proposal of love and somebody just blocks communication here. They come to the reality about someone here. Someone could be pissed off and jealous that somebody's just not telling the truth. Could be court cases as well. Alright, so these flew out. It's definitely maybe a message for somebody. Okay, somebody doesn't want to fight anymore. They don't want conflict anymore. They don't want competition here. There definitely could be a betrayal here. Regarding a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or money. Let's see. Why is the Three of Wands in Scorpio's hopes and fears, Spirit? Yeah. You guys know you have to come to reality about someone from the past or negative memories from the past and make a decision. 
like you've made a decision to either move forward from your past. This is in your hopes and fears. Coming to the realization that you need to let go and look towards the future. Because there's just no, there's a lack of hope and faith. There's a lack of healing. There's a lack of following your dreams here. Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Definitely using your intuition, guys. What is this decision? Somebody's going to be coming to reality about something and making a decision about someone from the past or something. Let's see. Why is the Two of Wands reversed for Scorpios from now until August 31st in Love Spirit? Why is the... Thank you. Wow. It very well could be an Aquarius or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But something, somebody's going to be coming to the realization that this doesn't bring them hope or balance. This is not the path that you want to be on regarding your past. Definitely could be another Cancer Pisces Scorpio on your mind or Aquarius here. Somebody's definitely getting out of their head and getting out of a situation. Getting out of a relationship is what it looks like. So, what is Scorpio waiting on, Spirit? What is... Okay. Damn. Yeah, there may have been a, a missed opportunity in love. Someone could have offered you love. Scorpio or you offered someone else love and they weren't will somebody wasn't willing to take the risk somebody didn't want this love offer here Wow Someone's definitely resilient using their intuition and trying to make a decision here somebody's n you guys know that you're not gonna put up with bullshit here or your partner, whoever you're dealing with. When I see two of these, this is a soulmate connection here. Like, intuitive soulmate connection. Like, this is crazy. Someone's waiting on their soulmate here. But maybe it, you know, somebody's afraid that they'll miss this opportunity. Or someone won't be willing to take the risk. Whether that be you or whoever this person is. We've got Aries and Gemini Libra Aquarius. Some of you guys could be waiting on a on someone to make a decision. Or you guys need to make a decision. Wow. Pisces. Aries, Gemini Libra Aquarius. I think I just said that. Yeah, but there's, there's grief. There's regret. There's remorse. There's upset here. It's almost like someone can't get out of a marriage or can't get out of, like, a living situation here. Or someone wants to stay married, stay committed, stay in this relationship, stay with this person. It's like somebody doesn't want to move on. Somebody's holding on to that emotional pain here in your hopes and fears. So let's see, why is the moon reversed, the outcome for Scorpios? From now until August 31st, Spirit. Why is the moon reversed? For Scorpios. From now until August 31st, Spirit and Love. Thank you. Yeah, there it is again. Someone's going to speak the truth. Someone's going to be very resilient. Somebody's not going to put up with bullshit. Whether that be you or whoever you're dealing with, male or female. And someone's going to make a decision. Possibly express their emotions. Or you're going to tell someone something. Or somebody's going to tell you something. Someone will be making a decision to let secrets out. And look at this. There's a soulmate connection. But I don't understand this 
grief, regret, remorse. It's like someone can't move on or can't move out of a situation, a marriage or a relationship so that people can be together. Wow, guys. What is the best advice for Scorpios from now until August 31st? Yes, Ace of Wands. Passionate new energy, a new beginning. This could also be second chances, and this is definitely fertility for some. But someone is definitely going to be left out in the cold. Somebody is going to be rejected here. There will be blocked communication. Could be an Aquarius or Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but yeah, somebody's coming to a realization and getting out of a situation. Wow, okay. Let's see. Future predictions for Scorpios in love. Oh my gosh, and with this here too. It's like someone could be very arrogant about their money. Like somebody could be so, come off as so greedy, untrustworthy, like they make a lot of money, they get a lot of attention, but they really don't have that much here. Like they're holding on to their money, they don't want to commit, they make promises they don't keep. Definitely a player type energy, whether that's you or whoever you're dealing with. It could go either way, considering it's a general reading. So let's see, Scorpio, future predictions in love. And these can play out anytime. Oops, sorry guys. Goddamn camera. Alright, these can play out anytime. So let's see, Scorpio's in love. From now until August 31st. Alright. What can Scorpios expect in love from now until August 31st, Spirit? Wow, Queen of Pentacles reversed. Yeah. Someone's going to be avoiding you, Scorpio, or you're going to be avoiding someone here. For some of you, this could be a toxic relationship, um, a domineering controlling abusive relationship with the king of swords reversed somebody who's so controlling that they're not a good person narcissistic liar controlling But still, somebody's going to be coming out of anxiety, coming out of their head here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Wow. Okay. For some of you, there definitely may be someone that goes into isolation, that contemplates what it is they want to do regarding this relationship, and there definitely may be an ending here, and someone may move on. Cancer and Virgo energy. Somebody's got a new beginning if they hold on, but they're holding on to heartbreak. Wow, guys, Air major arcanas everywhere. Okay. Holy shit. So somebody's definitely going to come to reality 
and make a decision about whatever this is that is toxic and it is tied to an Aries Leo Sagittarius, a Capricorn, or an Aries. Definitely could be someone, an authority figure, someone who, you know, wants order, somebody who wants things done their way. Definitely could be toxicity, a toxic relationship, toxic controlling relationship, drug abuse, alcohol. Definitely could be an Aries Leo Sag as well. And someone makes the decision not to accept this love offer after contemplating. There is something of value coming in here though. This is insane. Someone may be avoiding making a decision because they want their stability. Cancer energy as well. Still, somebody's not going to be letting go of the past. It's like, you guys still want to return to the past or someone else does. It's like somebody is definitely stuck on the past and very confused and conflicted about what it is they want to do here. Definitely could be two people involved or somebody just doesn't know what they want to do here. Yeah, someone could definitely. And then I'm seeing the hermit. Someone going into isolation mode, contemplating what it is they want here. These are so many major arcanas. Someone going into isolation about their happiness. And there's a new beginning, something of value. It could be money here as well. Getting an opportunity to move. Move out of a house or move out of a relationship here. Very interesting. Wow. So many major arcanas here. It's like somebody needs to conquer their demons and make the correct choice. There's definitely movement and travel here as well. But something is not karmically ending with the past here. Definitely with the King of Cups reversed. You could be dealing with someone, or this could even be you, somebody who masks their emotions. Someone who's not expressing their emotions about the past. This could be for some, not all, but someone who masks their emotions by drinking or drug use here. But you've definitely got a very, like, controlling, toxic energy here, Scorpio. It very well could be an Aries, Capricorn, Aries, Leo, Sag. Tell me about the devil. Yeah, this is definitely... This definitely could be an abusive, toxic relationship here. Third-party relationship that somebody's trying to control. Someone could be a real charmer and someone comes to reality about this and lets it go. They let go of it here. Somebody definitely needs to make a decision about this relationship, but still someone's unable to move on here. There's, there's some type of connection. All right, let's see with the tarot of sexual magic, what the hell is going on here? Scorpios. Actually, you know what? Let's do this for you guys. Tell me about the devil and the lovers for Scorpio in love from now until August 31st. Why is the lovers and the devil here for Scorpios from now until August 31st in love spirit? Yeah, there is going to be some truth that comes out about a man. Could be a Scorpio man. 
could be a man that you're dealing with. There's definitely going to be some information, okay, or words of wisdom from somebody here. Could be someone within your family, even friends. But something is going to be illuminated. It very well could be a man making a decision regarding a relationship, or things are going to be illuminated regarding this man. Tell me about this man for Scorpios from now until August 31st. Thank you. Whatever it is, it's going to be positive for somebody. Go more into this for me, please, Spirit. Somebody definitely needs to gain more knowledge. This is so interesting. Yeah, there we go. There are two choices that somebody has to make. Two ways to go. Someone could be very manipulative about it, or sneaky about this relationship, what it is they want to do with this relationship, but somebody may just, you know, drop their burdens, let go of everything. let go of their fears, let go of their worries about money and just move on. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Wow. Sorry guys, camera died. There's definitely going to be an end to a commitment here. Somebody's definitely going to be depressed, upset. Definitely an end to a commitment. Holy shit. This could be a death as well. From someone you're married to or in a commitment with here. But there's a spirituality here. Like, okay, for women. Or women, you know, that are friends with other women or mother figure. There could be a woman traveling, okay, regarding money and spirituality here. Like, it's a good, spirit is saying this is good, okay? This came out for a reason. This is a message for somebody. It could be regarding their stability, their home life. Somebody may need to travel for work here. It's definitely a woman, a woman figure. There's the, oh, this is crazy, man. I'm getting so many weird vibes. Alright, so Tarot of Sexual Magic for Scorpios in Love from now until August 31st, Spirit. Scorpios in Love from now until August 31st. Tell me about the moon reverse for Scorpios in love. Yeah. Someone's going to be getting out of a situation here. There's not going to be any more illusions. Somebody doesn't want to feel stuck anymore. Someone's not putting up with bullshit anymore. Someone could be cutting you out, Scorpio, or you're cutting someone else out. Wow. All right, let's get a flyer. Five of swords again. Yeah, something's going to come to light here. Could be a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Let's see. Why is the five of swords here for Scorpios? Let me 
definitely trying to protect themselves. I was a I don't like that at all. Three of Pentacles reversed. It's like somebody's definitely got their eye on someone. Someone that could be at a distance to them. Someone definitely doesn't want commitment. There definitely could be divorces here as well. But somebody's definitely got their eye on someone here. But someone doesn't want to commit. Or somebody's waiting for this ending here. This ending to some type of commitment. Tell me more for Scorpios in love. What does Scorpios really need to know in love? From now until August 31st, Spirit. Someone's really got something to say. Definitely could be you guys. Somebody definitely wants to put an end to something with you, Scorpio, or definitely could be another water sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries. Somebody definitely has something to say here. Somebody has something to, something to say to someone. It's like there was a third party. Why is the Two of Pentacles here for Scorpios? Yeah, see? Someone doesn't want to commit. Or someone was cheating around. There was a third party in some way at a distance. Or somebody was traveling to see a third party. Very well could have been a Cancer, an Aries, Leo, Sag, Taurus. Tell me about the Hierophant reversed for Scorpios from now until August 3rd. I'll we'll take this one. This feels right. Yeah, again, you guys. Yeah, I see endings. Transformations, endings to something here. But maybe somebody's not speaking up. Wow, the two of chalices fell out too. Tell me more about the queen of chalices for Scorpios from now until... Thank you. Yeah, you guys are done. Okay? Here's the ten of wands again. Somebody's holding on to stress. Somebody's stressed out. They can't do it anymore. Somebody doesn't want to commit. It very well could be you. Another water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone's got something to say to someone, but somebody is not speaking up. Someone could be very, very, very intimidating. Someone from the past. Someone could have been very controlling, domineering. Someone could be afraid to commit. That's what, I, what I'm feeling as well. Someone definitely may need to put the past to rest with a cancer. Or put something to rest and heal. There definitely is a death here for some of you guys. Definitely. Oh my goodness. Alright, so let's see. Angel romance cards for Scorpio. What is the best advice for Scorpios in love from now until August 31st? Wow, these are going flying. So we have, wow, we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. There is passionate energy here. And then we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So there definitely are pregnancies here on the bottom. We have express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. And separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So somebody definitely needs to speak up. Holy Toledo's. Alright, 
Let's see. I want to check one more thing. Tell me why the chariot is here for. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is definitely. Somebody feels like they may they can't move or they can't follow their dreams, possibly because of their health. Yeah, there definitely could be a, a death here, guys. That's what I'm getting. Or there's something in the way due to someone's health and they can't, they can't travel. Or they can't move on here. Wow. Okay, so let's see. Angel answers. Scorpios that are drawn to this video, the questions that they may be asking themselves... What do they need to know, Spirit? Scorpios in love from now until August 31st. A year from now. On the bottom, we have Don't Stop. Tell me more about a year from now for Scorpios. We have Recovery. Success, look for a sign, and communicate clearly. Wow, guys, I am blown away by this reading. I'm going to pull some extra cards for you guys, some oracle cards. These are absolutely beautiful and amazing, and I will be right back. All right, guys, so this is the Messenger Oracle. These are absolutely beautiful. So the first card on the bottom was Be Without Malice. You have been hurt, disrespected, or disappointed by others. Another has let you down or betrayed you. It is normal and natural to experience feelings of anger, hurt, and disappointment. To feel any and all emotion is natural, but you have, a cho you have choice always in how you respond. Do not allow your hurt to become a source of infection. Acknowledge it, learn from it and your experiences, and then let the anger, hurt, and disappointment go. Do not allow them to inspire retaliatory acts born of malice or spite. Very interesting. It's like definitely somebody's in the way. Let's see. We have make the sacrifice. You will not achieve the outcome you desire if you are unwilling to act upon your intentions. It is not as simple as wanting something to happen or believing that it will happen. You have to make it happen. And to make it happen requires that you be willing and ready to do whatever it is necessary, no matter the sacrifice. For everything you desire, you must give yourself in return. So that's what I've got for you, Scorpio. I definitely hope this gave you some insight. Definitely feel free to come back and watch it throughout August. See what resonates with you, what doesn't, what you should avoid, this and that. And I will see you guys in September. Holy shit. All right. Take care, Scorpio. Have a good one.